गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर गोपाल दत्त वॉकिंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ वोकेशनल स्टडीज उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी टूडे इज आई एम हियर विथ यू ऑल विद द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ एक्स एस टी एम एल वी विल डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ एक्स एस टी एम एल एंड डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप डेफिनेशन इन दिस सीरीज so let's start these are the learning objectives of this session uh, we will try to explore xhtml and its uses we will know how to create new xhtml document so so in this session we will start with xhtml basics XHTML stands for Extensible Hypertext Markup Language. It is a markup language used to create and structure content for the web, just like Hypertext Markup Language. The XHTML is designed to be a stricter and more consistent version of HTML adhering closely to XML means extensible markup language and its rules. XHTML documents are well formed XML documents which helps to ensure greater consistency in the code structure and makes documents more machine readable. The role of XHTML is a significant step towards standardization and consistency in web development. The focus has since shifted to HTML5 because of its improved capabilities, better multimedia support and backward compatibility with existing web content and existing versions of hypertext markup languages. Now we should discuss why XHTML. Why need to discuss about XHTML? Are there any benefits? Yes, of course. So there are some of the regions because such regions I think it is important to know such concept in this markup language. XHTML documents are validated with standard XML tools. XHTML documents are easy to maintain, convert and edit. It is used to define the quality standard of web pages. XHTML is an official standard of the World Wide Web Consortium. In short, it is called W3C. Your website becomes more compatible and accurate with many other browsers. The XHTML works in association with CSS that is called Cascading Style Sheets to create web pages that can easily be updated. XHTML documents could provide extensibility by including fragments from other XML based languages such as scalable vector graphics and MathML. XHTML was developed to make hypertext markup language more extensible and increase interoperability with other data formats. Now we to know how to write a new XHTML document. Here are some guiding rules to remember while writing a new XHTML document or the web page or converting existing hypertext markup language document into XHTML document. The first one is write a doc type declaration at the start of XHTML document. The next 
key point. Write all XHTML tags and attributes in lowercase only because the XHTML tags and attributes are case sensitive. The next key point is to close all XHTML tags properly. Make a proper nesting of all the tags which are used in XHTML document. Put all the attribute values inside the quotation marks in inside the inverted commas as expressed in this presentation. Forbid attribute minimization. The next one is replace the name attribute with the ID attribute and uh, depreciate the language attribute of the script tag. So these are some of the rules. Here we are elaborating with the example some guiding rules to remember while writing a new XHTML document as in the previous slide we have discussed doc type declaration is mandatory. Uh, the XHTML documents must have a doc type declaration at the start. There are three types of doc type declarations we will discuss in detail in the next session of XHTML doc type. For example, the doc type is which is used in XHTML document is uh, mentioned here at look at that example doc type then HTML public and the W3C DTD document type definition and the version of the XHTML right now we have discussed here 1.0 it's a transactional and uh, the next one is you are seeing it refers to the uh, w3.org you know repository so this is mandatory from this path we are calling the transactional dot dtd so this doc type declaration is mandatory at the uh, start of your XHTML document. The second point is it's case sensitive. I already discussed in the last slide. Uh, it should mandatory to use lower case letters only in the attribute and its text. So in this example, the first one is invalid XHTML code where AHREF is mentioned in a capital letter and uh, next uh, you know example there is a small letter we have used so that should remember always that the XHTML documents you know text and attributes are always in lower case the third point is which is important to you know remember that is closing the text we always try we always remember to close a tag which has been started so with the example here in invalid code we have mentioned a paragraph tag but we did not close it in the next line you are seeing a valid XHTML code and the image tag is there at and it has been closed so use double quotation marks for the values of attributes this is very important to know all the values of XHTML documents must be closed inside double quotation marks or called inverted commas. So in the first line with this example which is shaded by yellow color, this is invalid one, right? Width 250, this is not enclosed inside inverted comma as height also is not enclosed or uh, see in the next uh, you know, line there is a proper attribution with inverted commas. So that is the important point. The next one is attribute minimization in XHTML. As the HTML dislike HTMLs, you may compare this XHTML in with HTML. In that case, XHTML does not allow attribute minimization, whereas HTML allows. It means you need to explicitly state the attribute and its values in the following manner as stated in the given example. 
look at that example the first one is the option tag is here and we have mentioned that the default one is selected so this code is a invalid piece of code in case of XHTML document the correct XHTML code is mentioned here option tag is started then you write you have been mentioned selected attribute and inside the double quotes inverted commas inside the noted commas you have to write selected so that is called attribute minimization so there is some sort of you know attribute minimization example in next slide you will see so this is the point we were discussing about attribute minimization in XHTML. Below is the table where HTML style of attribute minimization and XHTML style is mentioned. Some are the you know attributes like compact. In HTML style, you have to write compact only. In XHTML style, you must have to write compact, assign, then inverted commas start then compact then close it so same happened with checked this is again attribute again declare is a word read only disabled selected differ you know now no rep multiple no resize is map so there are some of the attributes those we can't minimize in XHTML style. So how can you use such attributes in XHTML? I think this slide, you know, presents better. So uh, go ahead with a new rule. This is called uh, ID attribution. So uh, we are discussing here at XHTML guiding rules while we are creating we are writing a new x html document so in that case id attribute replaced the name attribute instead of using name attribute x html prefers to use id attribute that point to be noted so uh, there is an example with the help of code and uh, you know invalid codes defines uh, uh, image src tag is used there at one image xhtml.gif is called here at and the attribute name is mentioned as you know the attribute name or id both are used very popularly at the time of document creating the xhtml or html document so uh, look at the next line which is the correct code that is called uh, uh, you know ID attribute is used there at so instead of name we have mentioned ID attribute so this is again a point which we should remember during the at the time of creating XHTML document so in that case the next rule is nested tag we always try to make proper nesting the nesting between the line of XHTML tags must be maintained properly otherwise the document is assumed as an incorrect XHTML document sometimes we used to you know follow linear approach but XHTML you know dictates us or mention that the nested text we must at the time of coding so there are some of the benefits of XHTML we have mentioned here at the XHTML is reformulation of HTML and as an XML application XHTML has been designed to bring some advantages and improvements over traditional HTML some are some of the benefits of XHTML are strict syntax XHTML enforce a stricter set of rules for coding web pages it requires well-formed XML which means that all elements must be properly nested, closed, and in lowercase. Compatibility. The next point, we can say the benefit of XHTML. The compatibility means XHTML is designed to be compatible with both HTML and XML. 
this means that you can migrate your existing HTML code to XHTML gradually without major disruptions. It also ensures that web pages can be displayed correctly in a wide range of web browsers. The next one is accessibility. This is again the benefit of XHTML document which encourages developers to create web pages that are more accessible to people with disabilities. Improved search engine optimization, XHTML's cleaner and more structured code can be more easily crawled and indexed by search engines. Properly structured XHTML documents can enhance a website's SEO potentially leading to better search engine rankings. Another benefit we can count as globalization and multilingual support, consistency and maintainability. So the consistency and maintainability refers the strict rules of XHTML can help maintain consistency in web page development. So at the end of this session, the learning outcomes of this lecture are to gain the knowledge of basics of XHTML, the understanding of various benefits from the XHTML, the knowledge of guiding points while creating new XHTML document. In the next uh, session, we will discuss about to XHTML doc type, its uh, document type definition, XHTML syntactic rules and difference between HTML and XHTML. Thank you.